sticky man and put on the new man. Take away the mask, sister. Take away the mask, brother, and put on Christ. Oh, in him we move. In him we talk. In him we have our being. It's because of God I can preach to you. This is not me. My wife will tell you who the real me is. But when the spirit gets on me, when the spirit gets in my head, when the spirit gets upon me, I become a different person. I speak with authority. I speak with power. And God said, get a new mind. Get a new mind. In Deutschland, think different. And let people say, why? Well, there is something about you. You don't have to know all the, the, the accolades and all the hammer looks and the hammer letters. You don't have to know those ones. I'm not a theologian. You understand what I'm saying? Some of you think you got to know the whole Bible. No! John 3.16 is as powerful as for God so loved the world. You can know one scripture. And that's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. He said, make up your mind. Jesus said, I do not live by bread alone. The word. He spoke the word. He spoke the word. He spoke the word. Jesus never spoke of his own. He said, what I do, I see the Father do. Imitate me as I imitate Christ. I don't do nothing of my own. What I see the Father do, that is what I do. Saints, I came to encourage you. I stopped by this morning to tell somebody it ain't over. If you got a new mind, you can conquer. The Bible says we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. More than conqueror. Which means I kill the enemy, I cut his head like David did. More than conqueror. You are more than overwinner. What is it that is troubling you? What is it that is bothering you? Some of you are going to walk out of here and still carry the old mind from yesteryears. Please tell your brother don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. We must renew our minds. Be transformed. Be transformed. If you watch those Transformer movies, children's Transformers, what do those things do? Transform me, he can transform to be a car. He's a helicopter. He's what? A horse. They transform. That is what Paul B transformed into the image of God. The firstborn of all the brothers, which is Christ Jesus. Don't let anything hold you back. Nothing. 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 Look, if you are sellout like me, you become an outcast. The world don't know you. They call you a generation X. They don't know where you come from. They don't know what the language you speak because you are from heaven. And the Bible says we are even just doing a transit out here. This is not our place. So for, if you are comforted here, I'm here to kick you out of your comfort zone. Our job as pastors is not to make you comfortable. If I make you comfortable, I'm doing something wrong. I'm supposed to shake you out of your nest and begin to fly, begin to soar with a new mind. You can govern new ideas coming out, new ministries being planted. That is what we're talking about. God's business. Man. Young ladies, I'm telling you, be sell out for Christ. Tell the man no ringy, no dingy. Hey. Nothing. Hey. Don't give it up for the brothers. Say my body is a living hey. sacrifice. Hey. 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 
Yes, my boss. You cannot come and sleep in my house. I'm not coming to your house. I'm holy. I fear God. I fear God. I have the mind of Christ. I'm not thinking like I used to think. If you were sleeping in somebody's bed, from today, tell the person, uh-uh, the contract has ended. Get your own bed. You make go. <laughs> and tell them why. And tell them they say, but last night you were with me. And say, yes, I understand, baby. Yesterday. Today is today. New mercies. New grace. New prayer saying. I'm a child of God. Young men, don't give it up. Zip it up. Zip it up. Zip it up. Zip it up. You know, I, I'm, listen, listen, listen. Listen. We cannot let anything creep into the church. Fornicators, adulterers, it's an abomination. If I have the mind of God, I don't want to hurt my sister. No. I don't want to hurt my brother. Because I know who I am in God. The Bible says we should bless one another. And who am I? And who am I? Say my mind is renewed. Mind is renewed. Say my mind is renewed. Mind is renewed. Say my mind is renewed. Mind is renewed. Glory. 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 Are you still here? Yeah. Are you still here? Yeah. Hallelujah. That is how, and then God, and I'm closing, and then God can do a deposit in you. Yeah. When God sees that you think and talk like him, my brother, he can tell you, here, keep. God can give an anointing Extraordinary anointing. I'm not talking about the poker tube. Inside. He gives you an anointing inside. And when you mount the platform and you begin to speak, they go say, Is it not this boy we knew yesterday? Yes. Tell them I'm different now. The more I hear from God. The more God does a deposit, and then you're growing, and then you're maturing, and then God giving you more. Because he said the one who can take care of the least, he will give more. He says you are faithful over there, God begins to pour into you wisdom. God begins to pour into you understanding. God begin to give you knowledge, foresight, insight, and divine sight. God begin to give you revelatory experience and revelatory revelations of him. He tells you who he is. When you close to him, he says, seek me while I'm near. Seek me while I can be found. We need a mind of Christ. Think about if we all have the mind of Christ, what we can do together, what we can build together. But one wants to pull to the left, the other wants to pull to the right. One vision, one baptism, one Lord, one Father over all. Many members but one body, one mind. We can succeed. Mother Teresa said in a quote, she said she's not praying for God to give her success. She's praying for God to make her faithful. Amen. Faithful believers. I'm not praying for money. Money. It comes and it goes. God bless me with an idea. An idea that can generate millions of money. Give me an idea. Amen. Today we eat peanut butter, jelly butter, whatever. A peanut. 
Somebody went to God and said, God, show me the heavens. And God said, the heavens is too big. You will not understand. He went back again and said, God, show me the galaxies and the cosmos, the Orions. God said, what you ask me is too big. Ask me for something that you can understand. And God dropped a peanut idea in his mind. Today is history. We eat in Katenkwain, right? <laughs> Peanut soup. How did it came about? An idea. Granite soup. Thank you, man. Let's ask God for ideas. And let God begin to drop in us. Glory be to God. That is why I stopped by today. To tell you, with a new mind, you can do everything. There is nothing too big. The sky is not our limit. If we have the mind of Christ. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We came to be a blessing. And I thank God that you received Thank God that this word is not just going with a shouting and the, and the, you know, some folk could jump and shout and still miss it. But I'm saying that this word, a new mind in Christ, a transformed mind, watch out for somebody whose mind is renewed, who doesn't think like the old man. But his mind is renewed in God. My goodness. It's not going to be easy. Jesus said it. He said this world. You will have tribulations. But the mind that is in Christ. Will cheer up. He will give you a peace. That surpasses all will understand. In the midst of your atrocities. Your chaos. Your turmoil. God will so speak a word in due season because your mind is I want more God more of you less of me more of you you want more of God God begin to talk to you every day you see I told my wife I said I want to live and to be 110 Amen. because I want to finish every work that God has laid within my path and to see a generation grow up, the generation of Davids and Jeremiah's, generation that will not bow down, that will speak that say is the Lord. That is what I want to see. And folks say that brother, he helped people, people to see God. That is my duty. It's our duty that we help you. See God. If the blind lead the blind, they fall into the ditch. But thank God somebody hears from heaven. Aren't you glad, my brother, that somebody hears from heaven? I thank you today. I'm so excited for me to be here among you. The only family that will last forever is this family. Amen. Not your biological family only the spiritual family Amen. that is why the Bible said do good to the brothers of the house of faith Amen. you can have a crazy brother and you be giving him money and wasting the money and somebody sitting right here because it's not your bloodline you don't bother but this family Thank you, brother. God bless you. With that, I'm closing. Shall we receive your pastor in Jesus' name?